Evening driver, Bob Passengers here before your boat departure of 1806. Hey everyone, welcome back to Train Sim. And today we're in a class 158. Put the reverser to neutral and reset the AWS. And today we're taking this train, 1 Bravo 41 1806, York to Blackpool North, going at York. Church Fenton, Micklefield, East Garforth, Garforth, Leeds, New Pudsey, Bradford Interchange, Halifax, Sowerby Bridge, Mythen Road, Hebden Bridge, Berlin Manchester Road, Accrington, Blackburn, Preston, Portland Fylde and Blackpool North. So we're on the East Coast Main Line North uh, from DP Simulation. And we're on the newer version, which has the section from York to Garforth added. So we're in an ex Scott Rail class 158. Pretty cool, I guess. Put the headlights to the correct position. Put the destination to special. Kellogg, Carnegie, 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 Dingwall, Dumfries, Dunbar, Dumblain, Dundee, Dice, Eat Club, Edinburgh, Elgin, Falkirk, Fort William, Glasgow, Grand Ross, Glasgow, Inverkeithing, Inverness, Inverary, Kilmarnock, Kirkcaldy, Ocala, Falkirk, Valley, Malague, Mark, Inch, Canoe, Craig, Holland, Mathberg, Oban, Perth, Stirling, Stonehaven, Strand Ross, Chine, Tweed Bank, Whifflet, Wake, Depot, Night Service, Special. Off the doors. I don't know. I don't know why that was the first thing it didn't do. Anyway, next thing, next thing to set up is this. So register one Bravo four one, and we're at signal two three four. Two three four. Enter. One Bravo for one. There we are. Now I just need to wait for departure. Sorry about the delay. The next stop is Church Fenton at 18:21. So it's passing York. The the starting speed limit is 15 miles an hour. I've got around 10 miles to go to Church Fenton. So this is York, a fairly sizable station on the East Coast Main Line. So we limit is now with 30. So the reason we have a double yellow is because a train to King's Cross left before us. So obviously he is further ahead of us because he's going to London and we're going to Blackpool. So leaving the platform, the start the speed limit is now going up to 40. In a second, the speed limit is going up to 90, which is this train's maximum speed. This is a passenger view, the original from the original Class 158. Least really 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 long time ago. I think it was like 2009 or something. So the last time I actually went on the train was actually down this route between York and Hebden Bridge in a class 158 but an actual three car 158 and actual in Northern livery instead of a two car ex-Scotrail one like this one. 
So on the left was York Hallgate sightings, where trains can be stabled, I think. There's 158 in the opposite direction from Blackpool to York. I really, really like the Cosmo 158, it's really comfy. So to be to be limited, I'm going up to 100 miles an hour. Even though this train can only do 90. So I was thinking about how London takes all the funding for things. Like think about how many trains have entered service in the past, in the past couple of years. And then think about how many operate in London. Like in London, you got the 707s, the 717s, the 700s for Thameslink and Great Northern and Southwest trains, Southwestern Railway. You've got the 387s for Gavik Express. You've got. What else? You got the Class 345s for the Elizabeth Line. You got the Class 710s for London Overground. Like so many new trains, and then if you look elsewhere in the UK, like Manchester, most of Northern's trains were built in the 80s. I'll pause that again. Most of Northern's trains were built in the 80s, and the newest stock class 195 and 331s. I mean, they should have been ordered ages ago. So in a minute we'll be approaching Carlton Junction. No, yeah, Colton. Yeah, Carlton Junction 1813. So, one time. So I think it's kind of, so it's really annoying how London takes all the funding for things. Like if London wants a new railway, they'll get a new railway. Whether it's delayed or not is a different question. But if Manchester wants something new, they will get denied because no enough money. It's really annoying. Like, how come London, how come London, how come the UK has funding for an entirely new railway, Crossrail, but we can't get a line electrified, like, between Manchester and Leeds? We are now at Colton Junction, on time. Like, if you think about it, between Manchester and Leeds, there is actually, there is actually no way for an electric train to get between Manchester and Leeds. Because the line through Rochdale isn't electrified, and the line through Huddersfield isn't electrified. So the line to the left goes to Doncaster, and the line right, so where we're going, calls, goes to Church Fenton, Leeds, Hull, and uh, as etc. Now approaching 90 miles an hour, the train's in max speed. So we have about four and a half miles to go to Church Fenton. I think on a northern network, this is as far as trains go. A apart from the West Coast main line between Wigan and Carnforth. I think I'll do a couple of panning shots.
So the station we just passed through was Ulls Colf, a very, very quiet station. I need to slow down to 40 so we could so we don't break the speed limit into Church Fenton. So we clear, cleared into the platform is at Church Fenton. So if you're wondering if this scenario will be available on the workshop, it's not because I use the one from DP Simulations website instead of the Steam Workshop. It's because I'm a doof. So if I knew I couldn't put it on the workshop, I would have actually used class 185 instead of 166. Whatever. You can see the platforms at Church Fenton, just up ahead. Just arriving into Church Fenton. So on departure of Church Fenton, the next stop is Micklefield, and we can only go up to 50 miles an hour after this junction. So the reason I didn't open the doors is because they wouldn't open. I think it's a bug with the map. So I just put a stop there, instruction. I put a stop there, instruction there instead. So the next stop is Micklefield at 1829. But it froze. Never mind. So I do like the Scott Rail Library. I also forgot to put the branding in, so it really does look like it does in real life. Just a Scott Rail Library with no branding on it. So after we get off the junction, we can now accelerate up to 90. So after, after Church Fenton, the next up is Micklefield, then East Garforth, then Garforth. And then the next driver will take the train to Leeds. I do like this line, it's very scenic and high speed. I wonder if this line will ever be electrified. It would provide a good diversionary route. But I guess London takes all the funding for that. I wonder if people have complained about London taking all the funding for things. So anyway, the next stop is Micklefield. I don't think we'll get up to 90 before we have to slow down.
I still not quite decided what the next video should be. It would have to be a short journey. Maybe in Scotland, from Law Junction to Moss End. Or maybe another time lapse. I don't know, but maybe I should do it. Maybe I should stop doing videos on London. But I think I've done too many of them. Maybe like Metro Centre to Newcastle. The video is too short. I don't know. Maybe something else. So we've got about two miles to go to Micklefield. Oh, look. Metro Centre to Newcastle to Metro Centre, like a return journey. Or maybe a journey from Reading to Paddington. So we've got a 70 and then a 90. Is it just here to Glasgow? Yeah, last time I saw a uh, HST cross country, the some doors were removed. I put a picture of it up, up in the screen somewhere. Even though I think I only took a picture of the power car instead of the clutches. I'll probably put in both pictures because they, look, they both look pretty cool. So we can start sorting down from Micklefield now. The platforms at Micklefield are quite sharp. So we've got a green expect, which means we're clear in, clear into the platforms at Micklefield. You can now see the platforms at Micklefield and they are really sharp. Arrival into Micklefield. The branch that just joined us was from Selby on Hull. That's strange. Last time the doors actually opened. Oh well. So to back to Micklefield, the next stop is East Garforth at 1833. I've got less than two miles to go. Yeah, I think I've kind of run out of things to talk about. A level crossing? I don't know I don't know what it's called. There's a transpadine train from Manchester Airport to Middlesbrough via Victoria and Huddersfield. And we are now on the approach to East Garforth.
start something now, put the break into step one. Yeah, it's got thought this was actually quite a modern station. I don't know when it was built, but it looked kind of new. Probably built in the 90s or something. Pretty sharp platforms as well. Probably save money. There's another Transpennine train, this went from Liverpool to Scarborough. And arrival into East Garforth. The next stop is Garforth, arriving at 18.35. The doors actually open this time. So got about half a mile to go to Garforth. Why does Garforth need two stations? It's one line off. Just cruising at 35 so we can slow down into Garforth station. Yeah, I don't think DP Simulation actually finished the scenery here. So this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching me drive up the East Coast Men line, kinda. What's that, what's, that, what's this line actually called? Anyway, hope you enjoyed watching me drive the Cosmo 5.8. Like the video if you liked it, press subscribe so you don't miss out more trains in. Also do other games, like like Transport Fever and T Skylines, they're popular. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.